How do you test calling a contract from different accounts? Here I have a contract called ownable and it has a function called set owner and it requires that message.sender is equal to the current owner of this contract. Using DAP tools, how do I test different message.sender so that if the owner of this contract calls this function, then the function will succeed. But however, if message.sender is not equal to the owner, then this function will fail. How do I write the test for this in DAP tools? Let's find out. To start off with, I've created a contract called test ownable, which tests the ownable contract above. It deploys the ownable contract. So the owner of this ownable contract will be this test ownable contract. And then here we have a test called test set owner. It sets the new owner of the ownable contract and asserts that the new owner is equal to the input that was passed in here. I can run the test by opening my terminal and then typing dab test dash m to match the test name that we're running here, test set owner, because I only want to run that test and not other tests that are also inside this folder. So dash m test set owner. And as expected, the test passes so far. So now how do we write a test so that if we call set owner from an account that is not the owner of ownable contract, then the function call should fail. I'll name this function function test fail set owner public and then we'll write our code inside here. The basic idea to make calling set owner fail is to wrap ownable in another contract and have that contract call into set owner. When a contract other than this contract calls set owner, then message.sender will not be equal to this contract, so the function call will fail. So to do that, I'll create a contract, I'll name it account. And when we deploy this contract, we'll need to set the address of the ownable contract. So I'll copy this over here, paste it, and then say constructor address of the ownable contract. And then say ownable from the input is equal to ownable from the constructor input. And then since we're going to be testing this set owner function, we'll wrap this inside the contract account. And then say ownable dot set owner address of the new owner. Next, we'll need to initialize this account inside the setup. So I'll first create a state variable called account private and I'll name it Alice, but you can go ahead and name it differently. For example, account, user, whatever. But for this example, we will stick with Alice and then say Alice is equal to new account, passing in the address of the owner. So we'll say address ownable. And the last step is to call set owner from Alice. So we'll type Alice dot set owner and then pass in the address of the new owner. For this example, I'll just pass in an address of Alice. So before we run the test, let's just go over what we are doing here. We've created a new contract called account. And when this function set owner is called, it calls into the ownable contract and then calls set owner. The function set owner inside ownable contract checks that message.sender is equal to the owner. But since here we're calling from a different contract other than the owner of the ownable contract, message.sender will be account and not the owner. So we expect the function call to fail. So we'll run the test by opening the terminal and then run that test dash m test fail set owner. And the test passes, meaning that this function call failed. So that is how you can test calling into a contract from different accounts by creating a wrapper contract and then calling these functions from inside the wrapper contract.